Just one week away from President-elect Trump's inauguration, today his war of words against the media continues over unverified reports that Russia has compromising information on him. News 13's Fernanda Lopez is here with details. Good morning, Fernanda. Good morning, Crystal. During his first news conference since the election, Mr. Trump addressed those reports, bashing a CNN reporter and calling the outlet fake news. I'm you, not going to give you a question. You, stay, you, stay you are fake news. The reports that Russia had compromising information on Trump about his finances first came from CNN and BuzzFeed two days ago. Yesterday, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper told Trump by phone he doesn't believe any leaks came from the intelligence community. Trump had speculated yesterday that U.S. intelligence officials had leaked those reports from a Friday intelligence briefing. During that classified meeting, officials told Trump the allegations were unsubstantiated. Still, President and uh, President-elect Trump said this during yesterday's news conference. I think it was uh, disgraceful that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. Today, retired General James Mattis, Trump's nominee for defense secretary, is among the nominees appearing before Senate lawmakers. And that's after the president-elect's team abruptly canceled a scheduled House hearing for General Mattis yesterday. Adam.